Support vector machine is a binary classification algorithm for data that is linearly separable and it learns the separating hyperplane by maximizing the margin and that is why it is also called maximum margin classifier. The support vector machine algorithm ensures linear separability of data by imposing a constraint which ensures that the data is linearly separable and that constraint is yi into w dot xi plus b greater than zero for all the data points in our data set. So let's understand exactly how this constraint ensures linear separability of data. So here I have my data set consisting of two classes, blue class and red class. And this is the separating hyperplane. And let's say equation of this hyperplane is w dot x plus b equals to zero. Now this hyperplane divides our space into two parts and for all the points on one side of the plane the value of expression w dot x plus b will be negative and for all the points on the other side of the hyperplane the value of the expression w dot x plus b will be positive. So let's say for the blue side of the hyperplane the value of expression is negative then for every point belonging to blue class the value of the expression w dot xi plus b will be less than zero and what i will do is i will assign the class label for blue class as minus one and if i multiply yi with w dot xi plus b then the product will be positive because w dot xi plus b is negative and yi is also negative so product of two negative numbers will always be positive and now because the value of expression w dot x plus b is negative on blue side the value of the expression w dot x plus b will be positive for the red side of the hyperplane so for every point belonging to red class the value of the expression w dot xi plus b will be greater than zero and for the red class i will assign the class label is plus one so this implies that the value of the product yi into w dot xi plus b is greater than zero for red class also because w dot xi plus b is positive and yi is also positive and product of two positive numbers is always positive. So here we note that by intelligent choice of labels minus one and plus one, we ensure that yi into w dot xi plus b is always greater than zero for all the data points belonging to both the classes. And if any of the data point is lying on the wrong side of the hyperplane then the value of the expression w dot xi plus b and yi will be of opposite sign and their product will be less than zero and that will violate our constraint and that's how this constraint equation becomes linear separability constraint for our data set in the alternate formulation of support vector machine algorithm rather than maximizing the margin we minimize square of magnitude of scaled normal to the hyperplane and the normal vector to the hyperplane is scaled such that the value of maximum margin becomes one unit and that's how we get constraint equation yi into w dot xi plus b greater than equals to one for all the data points in our data set so let's understand this graphically let us consider the data set consisting of two classes the blue class and the red class and this is our separating hyperplane with equation w naught dot x plus b naught equals to zero and here note that i am using w naught and b naught to write equation of this hyperplane which are scaled version of w and b such that the scaled maximum margin for both blue 
as well as red class becomes one unit and let's assume that towards the blue class side of the hyperplane value of the expression w naught dot x plus b naught is less than zero and because this distance is one unit the equation of boundary hyperplane to the blue class becomes w naught dot x plus b naught equals to minus one then for all the data points lying on this boundary hyperplane and beyond the value of the expression w naught dot x i plus b naught will be less than equals to minus one and if i assign label minus one to blue class then the product of y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught will be greater than equals to one because if i multiply both sides of this inequality with minus one then the sign of inequality will reverse so i get y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught is greater than equals to one similarly the equation of boundary hyperplane to the red class because it is on the positive side of our hyperplane will become w naught dot x plus b naught equals to one and for all the points lying on this boundary hyperplane and beyond the value of the expression w naught dot x i plus b naught will be greater than equals to one and if i assign label for rate class is plus one then the product y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught will be greater than equals to one for red class also so here note that for both the blue class as well as the red class the value of product y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught is greater than equals to one four points in both the classes and if any of the point were to lie towards the wrong side of the hyperplane then the sign of y i and w naught dot x i plus b naught will be opposite to each other so their product will be negative and that will violate this constraint therefore this inequality ensures the linear separability of the data with the value of scaled maximum margin for both blue as well as red classes one unit